Hey internet, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. If you don't know me already, I'm a senior at NYU studying computer science and linguistics, and I can type pretty fast. So a while ago, I made this video that you can see here called the best typing practice websites. And this was almost a year ago now. And I have found so many more websites since because as the channel grew, uh, people started suggesting different typing websites. And I've also had opinions change over various different typing websites. Two websites that I want to be explicit about and reiterate that I mentioned in that last video uh, is first of all, Kieber, which is something I would still recommend for beginner typists. It's not like something that guides you too, too strongly, just something that's great to get used to touch typing. It reminds you of where the finger mapping is and everything. And the other website is Monkey Type. Only found out about this website when I was told about it for my first typing video. And there are just so many cool features about it from analytics to survival mode in a sense. If you just wanna learn how to type and practice, this is a really great simplistic overview. And then uh, this also has a community on Discord that's fairly active as far as I know. In the last video that I'm talking about here, I split the, the typing websites into those for beginners, those to practice, and those to push us to be faster. This time, we're just gonna speed run a bunch of websites. <laughs> Speaking of great communities, the first website on my list is KeyMash. This is relatively new, but absolutely a fantastic website. I competed in their KeyMash tournament. You can find my live stream in the top right. All in all, they've got a very aesthetically pleasing website and I believe they've just revamped some stuff. Yeah, KeyMash V2 released. Works the same as general other websites. If you go to random, you'll get either quotes or dictionary. Coming to quotes here just to do a sample test. All right, not great as far as my typing tests go, but yeah, I encourage you to check it out. Something that can be really fun is this daily speed ladder. Play button is being blocked by an ad. Anyway, uh, you just compete, you can get coins. It's got a great reward system. So yeah, that's the first one. Our next website, also very aesthetically pleasing, is NitroType. Now, I never really used NitroType a lot in the early days of typing. I had heard about it, of course, but never used it too much. Um, and I'm pretty sure this account was just made like last week when I was experimenting for this video. I would recommend NitroType if you're a beginner to typing um, and you you kind of need something that's very gamified, very aesthetically pleasing uh, to learn how to type because as you go through different races, you can unlock a lot of different things. So right off the bat, compared to other websites, it's got a lot going on. Uh, 129. So again, not the greatest in for, for me at least. Return to garage, you can customize your car. There's a whole bunch of fun stuff that you can get into. Not personally my vibe, but I can see why so many people use it. Next is something that was recommended once more, Typing Academy, typing.academy to be explicit. All these websites will be in the description down below. A lot of people said this because they were a bunch of fun games and this is definitely geared towards uh, beginner typists. As you can see, there's base stuff, warmups, um, learn exercises and you've got a whole bunch of different stuff and it's entirely free as far as I can tell. So it's it's definitely one of those more in-depth resources. For example, comparing to Kieber where you're kind of on your own, it will adapt to your typing style. Typing Academy is a lot more in-depth with the exercises it gives you so on and so forth. So if I just do a random lesson. This reminds me of the um, the typing tests I would do in middle school when we when we had like, like a keyboarding class. Okay, and this goes on, ring finger left hand. Okay, that's why. They also have a typing test. I'm pretty sure I have 10 finger method, yes.
god, this is okay. This is a long test, so I'm not gonna finish this. So 147 words per minute so far. I guess you just go until a full minute. I'm not sure. The bar on the top keeps moving. Um, from just that surface level, I think it's a great resource for those starting out to type, uh, especially if you're learning to touch type. So moving on, on a similar vein, I'll save the best for last, three more to go. Similar vein is typingclub.com. A lot of people uh, had commented this as well, and I took a look. And again, it's kind of like Typing Academy, except it's got better visualizations. It's a little more structured and they have these these video tutorials that are pretty cool. And I'm not gonna show them because I don't wanna I don't know, steal material or whatever. Now, what's funny about these sites is that I wanna do a video in the future potentially where I look at these very basic home row instructions and uh, go through them and see if that improves my typing. I don't think it will because the home row method is kinda, it's not, it's not really all that great. I think the, the most important thing is that you just use most of your fingers. So yeah, Typing Club is another one of these great websites, loki.cato.studio. This is Loki type recommended by one person, but I just thought the aesthetic of this website was really cool. Nothing truly special happening, not a lot happening, but it's just... So 149 gives you a, a basic graph. Um, as far as I know, there's not really more to this. Just like a really cool aesthetic here. And lastly, this makes for a very short video, is Z-Type. I really like Z-Type because it exemplifies something in typing websites and games that I haven't quite seen a lot of. And this is simply an increasing difficulty. You can go on monkey type or 10 fast fingers or whatever and practice for as long as you want. Uh, websites like Keymash are great because there's the whole competitive aspect. And that competitive aspect will teach you to, I guess, try and push yourself to someone who might beat you. Z-Type on the other hand, ramps up. And this is something I think is really important in general. First wave, very easy three words, but as you keep going, it gets tougher and tougher. Perhaps a lot of this uh, thinking comes from general game design thoughts and lessons, but this idea of ramping up is something important in learning anything, because when it's something as linear as typing, in terms of, you know, you can really only get faster, you learn where your limits are and what stops you the most. As something just naturally increases in difficulty, this increases pretty linearly as opposed to exponentially, for example. Damn it. Yeah, so I, I typed the wrong word. I had to take like three seconds to look for it and that messed me up. I don't know what's up with the caching. Maybe I did it in a different container. Uh, and then honorable mention to speedtyper.dev. I think this is a great website to practice things like special characters, but I pretty much made a whole video on that. So we're not gonna really go over that. So I wanna end this video with a main takeaway for you. On this last typing video I made and pretty much all of them, um, I get a decent amount of comments. It's a lot relative to me. And it's surprising how many of them say, what do you recommend to practice? What website should I use? So on and so forth. This comes from my approach to life. So take it with a grain of salt. But my advice to you is that A, practice is the only thing you really can do. Uh, sure, there is you know, certain skills that overlap with typing that might make you faster. Piano, perhaps, I don't really know. Special dexterity, whatever. And you know, practice won't get you to be lightning fast, but Practice is, conscientious practice is one of the best things you can do. One of the only things you can do to improve. I don't think typing very fast is all that useful outside of typing competitions, but the main idea with this video is to give you some resources. My main thing to do is go on monkey type and you know see how I'm doing on a 30 second test here and there. If I'm practicing, maybe I go on key mash and try and push myself a little bit and do some competitive stuff, but that's, that's my method. When I was trying to get to 140 words per minute the first time, I used Kieber very heavily because it maxes out at 140, but this is what I first used to get there. What works for me might not work for you. So all I'm saying is if you find a website from this video that helps you get faster, that you enjoy, go with it. My advice isn't 
all enlightened or whatever, right? Some people can practice for 15 minutes a day. Some people practice for an hour a day. How much you should practice is up to you and what you think is best for yourself. You do you. If people ask me this question or something like this, chances are I might just link you to the end of the video, but hopefully I can use the previous video I made to, to lure you in here and give you the real advice of, these are just a handful of resources that I can just show you exist. It was very helpful when I found out monkey type just existed because people told me about it. Kimash, people told me about it. But at the end of the day, if you really wanna get better at this, conscientiously practice with things that work for you. Personally, I would simply recommend Kiber and monkey type. That's just what works for me. But if you're someone who needs the structure, maybe typingclub.com is better for you. If you want all the aesthetics, maybe nitro type is the best bet for you. Once again, you do you. So here are some more great typing websites, but whether they're perfect for you, whether you need to use all of them or just one or two, that is your call at the end of the day. And progress is slow. I mentioned I used Keeper for when I got to 140. That would be February of 2020. About a year and a half ago is when I was around 130 words per minute. Now I can type it around 170. I actually got 200 the other day with the accuracy involved, but I hit 201 and that was like, I am almost there. Wait for that video, it's coming. Progress is a long game, uh, whether it be typing or, or archery, you know, things are slow. And um, if you wanna get better, one of the only things you can do is practice, so why not? Just make sure you're not, you know, practicing for the wrong reasons. Again, that video there. I will end my rambling, but thank you so much for sticking through because I think the real value in, you know, regurgitating typing videos is what typing can teach us about progress, about practice, finding resources, so on and so forth. If you wanna get better at anything, ask 20 people what the first thing that comes to mind is. Some might say Udemy for learning something. Some might say read books. Try everything, internalize everything. If it doesn't work, you throw it out. If it works, you keep it. And over time, you will find your own, your own path. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. If you still wanna ask me what my advice is, leave a comment and I will link you to the end of the video. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks yet again for stopping by. Next week's video is how I manage my time. Not a typing video, but I'd love for you to come check it out. So have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.